In this video, I will show you how to properly assemble and operate the Everlock Plus power tool. Before starting assembly of the tool, review the warnings and instructions and be sure you understand how to handle and operate the power tool. Both the manual for the power tool and the battery and charger are located in the case. Keep the instruction manuals in the case with the tool and make sure anyone using the tool reads and understands the manuals before operating it. Be sure you're wearing appropriate eye protection, a best practice anytime you're working with a power tool. This tool is battery operated and we want to take care not to use it in wet or damp conditions. And remember, never operate the power tool near wires or cables carrying electric current. Before inserting the battery, note the safety symbols that alert us of potential pinch points. They're located at the top of the tool housing here, 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 and here. In addition, there are labels on the tool housing that provide further information and warnings. When you operate the tool, this hydraulic slide will compress, bringing these jaws together, both during the expansion and the compression steps of the fitting assembly. Be sure that hands, fingers, and other body parts stay clear of those moving parts. This is the proper grip of the Everlock Plus power tool. I have my hand firmly around the control handle with my index finger ready to trigger the tool. With my hand in this position, I can easily push the release button if I need to release the hydraulic slide at any point during the expansion or compression. A couple examples of how not to handle the tool. Don't operate the tool like this using your pinky to trigger the tool, or like this using your thumb to trigger the tool. Holding the tool in that way brings your fingers closer than necessary to the moving parts. Remember, if you can hear the tool working or see any part of the tool moving, your hand must be in this configuration. The control handle does rotate 360 degrees, so you can always make your connection efficiently with your hand in the proper position. Again, make sure your finger is off the trigger switch before rotating the tool head. Now that we know how to properly grip the tool, let's assemble it and get ready to make a half inch fitting. When we assemble the tool, leave the battery out to make sure nothing moves during the assembly process. The compression jaws slide on like this. The expansion adapter slides on from the top like this and the quick change expander head goes on like that. The color code of the tool should match all the way across. Since I'm doing a half inch fitting, I should see red here, here, and here. Now that I have the power tool completely assembled, we can add the battery. To assemble a fitting, I slide the sleeve over the PEX-A pipe, insert the expander head into the pipe, hold the trigger until it recoils, rotate, and repeat. If at any point you want to release the hydraulic cylinder, you have your thumb near the release button and can release it back to the open position. Remember that the hydraulic slide will compress, bringing the jaws together both during the expansion and compression steps of the fitting assembly. I will expand, rotate, expand again. Now I can add the fitting. When you compress the sleeve over the fitting, we want to be sure that our hands are away from all the moving parts. During operation of the tool, no hands or fingers should be in this area. If at any time you realize you're not handling the tool properly, release the trigger and press the release button. Move your hands to the proper position and start again. This is also a good example of when rotating the tool may be helpful. Remember to take your finger off the trigger when you're rotating. Following these guidelines will help ensure proper handling and operation of the Everlock Plus power tool and help you make secure Everlock Plus joints. If you have any questions, always refer to the product warnings and instructions that are in the case. If you misplace them, they're also available at na.rayhow.com backslash resource center. Thanks for watching. See more videos like this and subscribe to our channel.